Welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we'll see about the formatting techniques of the string and some other operator operands concept in this lecture. So about the formatting, Python uses a C style formatting to create the new formatted string and that can be done by using the modular sign. So the modular sign that is this operator over here in the screen is used to format a set of variables that is enclosed by the tuple which is basically a fixed size list. We'll learn about the tuple in the upcoming lecture, but just remember it is a type of a list which is attached together with a formal string, which contains a normal text together with argument specifiers. So let's learn about this and let's see how this percentage yes and percentage D works together. So let's see and let's make a real quick script over here to learn about the formatting. So let me just press Ctrl N to create the new file, which is our script. You can also simply go to the file and create the new file to create the script. And let me just save this file as uh, test.py, which is the extension of a Python file. Let's go to the desktop and save it here. So we want to just create the folder first, which will be the string. And I'll say John is inside this name folder. And now we have to make use of this print method, which is going to print us whatever inside the value is. So here I want to just pass hello. And I'll say hello is and after that, I'll say uh, the exclamation mark or uh, comma baby. And after that, I want to give this percentage yes, which is a specifier over here, which is basically your argument specifier, which is the special symbol, which will just replace our name now. So I'll just say that after this, let me just put here again the percentage and the name of a folder over here, which will be name. And now let me just close uh, this print method. So what we have done here is we have just called this specifier argument specifier percentage yes, which is for the string. If it was case for the number, it would be percentage D for now it is percentage yes, which is for this zone. So let me just save this and press F5. Then you will see hello is and zone. So instead of this percentage yes place. So let's go again back to this script now. And if you see the output over here in the place of this percentage yes, we have just included the name which is zone. So this is the formatting technique. We have made use of this formatting technique in this lecture by using this argument specifier which is percentage yes. So let's make another program using this uh, same specifier. But now I'll just say name is um, re again. And now let me just add another which is the integer. Here the age is 23. And let me just print again by formatting this. So I'll say percentage yes, which is for this name hurry. And is percentage d for the age and i'll say years old so i'm just formatting over here and uh, now let me just close this with percentage and now there is a two thing that need to be passed so we'll just pass inside this parenthesis that is name and the age and let me just close first this parenthesis and let's close this print statement too so we have now created another program here using the same argument specifier but now we have included both the string and the integer inside the same print statement so let's save this now and press f5 then you could see hurry is 23 years old which has been replaced in here argument specifier so instead of this yes it will be hurry and instead of this d it will be 23. So this is basically your specifier for this argument or basically for this value, name and age. So this is the one way 
to format the sentence so there is another way to format this using the format statement so we are going to do that in this lecture so let's start this so first of all uh, let me just um, create the script over here so instead of just creating script let's go to the cell and uh, let's make a program right here so I'll say x should be let me say 89 and y should be let me say 3 so if I just hit enter now I have created x value and the y value so let's print this in by formatting basically using the string formatting technique so we have learned by using the argument specifier percentage s and percentage d for the string and the number respectively but now we'll make use of a format method in this uh, section so I'll save the value of x is so now if you are using the format method you have to give this curly braces and y is curly braces so instead of this curly braces now we'll just add this format method and x comma y will be passed over here so now what we have done here is we have just print this string now and it is saying the value of x is and we have given the empty space over here where this x will be injected and y is where y will be injected but if you just change this value so let me just pass here first y then x then the y value which is 3 will be inserted in this x and y has the value of x so this format has to be in the order which you want to just pass your value so in this case i want to pass the x value which is 89 in here and y value is 3 in this specifier or in this placeholder so we have to make use of this format method so this format method is called upon this string so whenever you are calling the method which is the method of that class which is this string you are putting this dot or a period to call upon that string so if i just hit enter over here then you will see the value of x is 89 and y is 3 which is the value we just assigned over here so we can do same of this by this format method so let me create another program so let me say like is python now let's print saying i like and placeholder which is basically the curly braces and this is a string and we have to call format method so just give dot and format method should be called and instead of this placeholder you have to pass here like so let's close this and hit enter then you'll see i like python so this is the way to format your string and it is the best way to do that so let's do something like first of all input something from the user and let's format that so first of all i'll say uh, info and uh, i'll just call this method which is input method which is going to take a string from the user so i'll just prompt a message saying enter your name and now after they just enter their name I'm going to stripe strip all the uh, curly braces so here I'll say enter your name and it would be such in and if you just say this then now if you see the info it would be only such in so it has stripped all the spaces that we just pass here by this strip method so this strip method is going to strip all the spaces that you passed right here so if you see uh, any spaces has been just turned down or basically has been erased in this info and only such in has been entered so let's format it so i'll say print your name is placeholder and call that format method pass your name that user has just inputted which is the info and let's close this then you'll see your name is such in which is the user just entered over here from the input method 
so this is the way to format your output which is the string so basically we just made use of the placeholders and the format method and the argument specifier that is percentage s and percentage d in this lecture to just format the output so in the next lecture we'll import some of the classes and we'll see the documentation how to do that in the next lecture will be interesting lecture see you in the next one